Hello, Munir Ajam with one more video. Uh, very few short videos at the end of a long week in training. So we will uh, uh, we'll try to capture some of these things we discussed in the class uh, and that they are of value to us. Uh, now I'm going to talk about the difference between the, the concept of quality and grade and what would be considered quality. Um, often enough we hear from clients, from customers, from people, we ourselves say sometimes we want a high quality product. Well, technically in English, in American English, we might say this is an oxymoron. There is no such a thing as a question of high quality. Technically quality, if we want to be academic about it, is zero or one, like IT, you know, on or off. Yeah? Either quality is achieved or not achieved. What does it mean? It means basically for us quality is meeting requirements. So tell me what you want. Yeah, in project management, we say, basically, tell us what you want. And our job is to deliver to what you want. So give us the requirement. And we want to deliver those requirements. No more, no less. Yeah, We're not going to give you extra. We're not going to give you gold plating. And you know the term gold plating typically refer to giving you extra. Or maybe over design. Or do something that is not really necessary. It does not add value to the function of the work to be done. Um, so... Equality, by definition, uh, is meeting requirements. What you want is what you get if you do our job right. Period. Now, what do people mean then when they say high quality? Or, uh, let me question you for a second here. Uh, if, or, or maybe not if. Let me, I will ask a couple of questions for you to think about. Um, let's take cars. Okay? And if we take a Corolla or a Camry, Toyota, Toyota obviously is still a leading car manufacturer in the world, so we'll use Toyota. Uh, so let's say take a Camry and take a uh, Forerunner or Land Cruiser. Uh, when we ask the question, said which one is a higher quality car, Many people would say the Land Cruiser, of course, yeah. And if we ask who about hotels, and say what's the difference between three-star and five-star hotel, or three-star and four-star, and many would say obvious, five-star hotel are higher quality. Well, technically, that's not true. Because if quality meeting requirement, then we want to make sure that is defining what would be the standard. So, let's say you go to a three-star hotel and it promises you X, Y, Z and you go and you get X, Y, Z. That basically tell us that this hotel is provided you what you have, what they have promised you or what has been expected per, let's say, the municipality or the tourism authority of what would be a three-star hotel grade. Yeah, obviously, many cities and countries and tourism authorities around the world will define what a three-star hotels mean versus what a four-star or a five-star. So, if you go to a three-star hotel and it deliver on what has been designed and graded as, therefore, we can say this is a quality hotel. It met the requirement that has been specified. So, the three-star here is not an indication of quality, is a... A number we assign to grade is that a specification that uh, a standard uh, that we assign to a certain product so a three star is usually a grading system we use for assignment hotels from a touristic from a business or tourist perspective a five star hotel if you go to a five star hotel and obviously, five-star hotel also have a standard by the tourism authority to clarify what would be the minimum requirement to achieve the five-star rating. And you go to that hotel, and one or two or more of those requirements that has been promised is not delivered. Then, obviously, we can say here, uh, obviously, this hotel, it is a five-star, meaning it's a high-grade hotel, but did not deliver on what its promises. Therefore, it did not meet the requirement, so quality is not achieved. 
Same thing with car, we talk about the Camry versus the Land Cruiser. Assuming Toyota um, produce cars or vehicles or SUVs to the same quality standard, the same specification, obviously specification in this case, each one of them have a slightly different uh, specification, features, but in terms of manufacturing and the quality, uh, and uh, Toyota will manufacture these, pairs their specification, so the Camry will be manufactured to the Camry specs, and the Corolla to the Camry specs, uh, to, the, uh, to the Corolla specs, and the Yaris to the Yaris spec, and the SUV and Forerunners to the Forerunner, and the Land Cruiser to the Land Cruiser. Therefore, we say quality is achieved if they deliver on that. If they don't, quality is not achieved. So that's an important topic to discuss and highlight because often we run into this situation with a lot of confusion about quality versus grade. So until the next video, we remind you when you hear the word quality, double check, ask a question, ask the client, ask the customer, ask your friend, do you mean quality or grade? Until next time.